glass materials in archvis is like salt in food, you might go around it in some cases, but in the end, you need that realism flavor in your scene. Hello guys and welcome back, in this blender tutorial, I will show you how to master the glass material in a step by step process, so without any further ado, let us jump into it. We will work on this scene, and I will drop a link down below if you want to follow along the tutorial with the same set. The aim here is to add a glass material to this solid mesh over the table frame. So, let me start by expanding the workspace since we won't be working on any of the settings over there, and let us split the viewport to open a new window for the shades editor. Now that we have the top piece of the table selected, let us go to the editor side and add a new material to it, by default it will have the principal BSDF node connected to the material output, so left click on the BSDF and hit X to delete it, now to add a glass material, hit shift A to open the add menu, then go to the shader tab, and choose the glass BSDF node, connect the BSDF to the output surface, and let us see how it looks. Quite good as a start, and to be honest this node alone will give us most of the work to achieve the glass material, now three things we see on the glass node, and we will start with the bottom one, the IOR value, which refers to the index of refractions on this transparent surface, you can go and read more about it, you can at any time go to google and search for this value by typing for example water or glass IOR and it will give you the number for that. So I will change the value here to 1.52 for this glass. Looking at the glass we have, we notice two things that seems off or wrong, one is that the glass not letting the light pass through it to the ground, since the table frame has holes in it, this should be very clear to see, so to fix this, we need to add another node to this material called transparent BSDF and connecting it to the surface directly will give a similar result as if the glass piece isn't there. So to get the best of those two, we can mix them together, we do that by adding a mix shader node just before the material output, or as a shortcut, just hold the control and shift keys, then with the right mouse click, connect the two nodes, The factor on the mix will give us a range between full glass to full transparent, however what we need to have is a material that appears like glass when the light hit the surface, the table frame in this case, and work in transparent when the light need to pass through, and to get this, I will add a new node called light path, then we need connect the shadow ray from it to their mix factor. To adjust the color, let us go back to the glass node and open the color picker, and by the way if you want to change the color wheel shape, you can jump to the preferences, in the interface, under the color picker type, you can find many options to control color more than the default wheel, so find the one that suits you, we will go with the third option to easily control the saturation since we're gonna need it later. Now we can change the glass color to anything we need, just keep it on the lighter side. Once you picked a color for the glass, to add the same color effect on the floor, we can simply copy the hex code for the glass color and paste it in the transparent BSDF node. The color looks a bit too much on the ground, so I will make it a bit lighter on the transparent side. The second thing we can notice on the glass is the dark edge, and you might not need to adjust this all the time in the case of having a rubber frame or something around the glass, 
However, we can easily fix this by scattering the material volume. So here before the output volume, hit Shift A and look for the volume scatter node, then connect those two. Make the density around 3 to 4 in value, then experiment with the second slider under it, something around 015 for the anisotropy value should do the trick, and as before, we can copy the hex code for the same color we used, and paste it in the volume scatter node. Now two extra tweaks before we wrap this video, one are those edges around the glass piece, too sharp to leave them around children, so, we can add a bevel to the mesh with either the modifiers or the bevel command, or since this is a shading tutorial, we can add a bevel node, and connect it to the glass normal, so let us do that. The default radius is too big for this piece, so I will make it on 3 mm, and also make the sample around 8 for smooth chamfering on those edges. The other thing we need to tweak is the roughness, and though by now you can get a realistic glass with these simple nodes. We can go to next step by adding some dirt on the glass since a clean one won't indicate realism, so like we said before, controlling the roughness slider will take us between transparent glass and solid rough one, furthermore, in the roughness input, we can add specific dirt patterns with image textures, those maps can be found everywhere on Google so just look for dirt textures and you can download many for free. Once we added the image texture and open it to select the dirt map we have, we can see the pattern on the glass surface. And to control it even more, let us add a converter called Color Ramp. This one have two colors by default and they are black and white, similar to what the dirt map has. So if we increase one of those values in the color ramp node, we can affect the dirt on the glass, to settle down the dirt look we can change the white color into something more grayish, this way the pattern won't appear too harsh on the surface. And we are done. Simple, elegant and realistic glass that for sure will apply on every interior scene you have, so if you followed with us, you can go and save this material in your library, you for sure will need it later, and if you by any chance don't have a library yet, go watch this video to learn how to make one, and that's it, stay sharp guys, goodbye.